in West Lothian, very proud of my West Lothian heritage. Uh, my family originate from Blackburn and although I spent most of my childhood in Adiwell and West Calder and after I graduated from university I returned to, to live and work in West Lothian and this is where I've made my life and uh, where I continue to live and where I raise my son. And I'm also confident uh, that when my son reaches adulthood he will indeed be living in an independent Scotland. interested in politics since I was quite a young age. I hope that doesn't make me sound uh, too, too sad. Um, but my interest in politics was sparked when I was at school uh, in 1979 with the, the first uh, referendum where we had a debate in the classroom. And I've always been someone who's instinctively uh, in favour of independence. And then as a, a young teenager growing up, in a West Lothian mining village in the 1980s when my own father experienced unemployment. Um, it was unemployment uh, that politicised me uh, and also uh, Margaret Thatcher and the notion of a, a government that didn't have a democratic mandate uh, to, to rule over Scotland. So those are the things that drew me into politics. I was elected uh, Deputy Leader of the SNP, my three priorities uh, would be firstly uh, to maintain the party's focus on independence. Uh, over the past few weeks we've seen tens of thousands of new members and they've joined the SNP to continue that campaign for independence. A second priority uh, is very much to um, enhance uh, and protect the democratic traditions uh, of the SNP and ensure that rank and file members uh, always have their voice heard at the very top uh, of the party and I also want to ensure that we have the right close working relationship with the wider Yes movement as well. Well for me we've got a great opportunity in this campaign to select the next deputy leader of the SNP and for me this campaign is all about the future direction of the party and ensuring that we as a party move forward together to advance that campaign for independence, to continue that campaign for independence head, heart and soul. 